Hey, what's going on guys? Logdad Zip here. The Blood Sword. Sword. The Ice Sword. The Ender Sword. Heck, we got the Thunder Sword and even one special sword at the end here, which we're going to tell you about at the end of the video. What do these five swords have in common? Well, they're super OP, and you can add them to your world using only one command. Welcome back to Only One Command, a Minecraft Redstone series where I showcase your amazing command block creations that only take one command to add to your Minecraft world. And we've got some special swords in place today. Extremely OP swords that allow you to do some very, very interesting things. This is a one command by Max Stein. Oh, baby. Time to set this place ablaze. And we'll find out more information. Then there's going to be a bunch of links in the description of this video where you can find a link to Max's channel as well as the eventual download for this the faster that we get to, oh, I don't know, 15,000 likes. The faster I'll get you guys the download for. It's going to be a good old time. And with that, we're going to show you how all these different swords work. But before that, a quick word from our sponsor, me, <laughs> Log.Zip. Today's only one command is brought to you by the only one command t-shirt show your support for the series by buying one of these awesome shirts come in all sorts of sizes. you want to find out more links in the <laughs> and finally the world is by max stein you the max stein you the max stein <laughs> his links in the description as well do you identify as a minecraft pro Yes? Then diamond swords might be too weak for you. It's true. I'm better than them. L lucky you, this command adds OP swords to your world. Let's see how you can get your hands on them. Energy orbs are the first step required in order for this puppy to work. Hey, hold on. I left clouds off. I like clouds. Anyways, you're going to need the following. A nether star and an ender pearl. Ooh, get a load of this. I didn't know if that was actually how you were supposed to do it or not, but I just assumed so. So energy orbs, book and quill. Com oh, yeah, I already did that. Okay, right. Well, we move on then, huh? We got ourselves an energy orb. Now we got another book. Place obsidian. <laughs> is that a new block? On your mark block to your left, now place four repeaters, one tick leading into the obsidian block and power them with redstone block. Now drop a diamond sword onto the obsidian sword. What did he just say? What did you see what we're working with, huh? I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna place my obsidian block right here. Grab these. Boom. 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 Okay. Bo oops. Oh, uh, uh, pickaxe? What? No! How are you not gonna give me a pickaxe, man? Jeez. Put all four of them down. Just like that. Oh, and you got your little mini shrine ready and good to go. Now we need to drop a diamond sword onto the obsidian and witness. Oh, oops. <laughs> Missed. Yo, best guy. Boom. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's spinning about. It makes me want to grab it. Although that'd be dangerous because it's, it's a sharp blade. But before we can do anything with the sword, we need to make a few more energy orbs. We need a grand total of four because we need to surround the sword with all of these orbs. And once you've done that, that's when the magic truly happens. Boom, placed. Boom, placed. Boom, placed. Uh, boom, placed. <laughs> now the sword is ready for enchanting. So we're going to start with the blood sword. Oh yeah, this one just requires a redstone placed right on top. Boom, da la la. Hey, 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 it's nice and enchanted. Look, isn't that beautiful? Ooh, oh yeah. Yo, that's sick. That looks great. Ooh, we got a blood sword sword. Uh, a blood sword sword? Really? Come on, Mackie. So what does it do? Using it gives you more and more strength the lower your health is. Take some damage and see how many hits it takes to kill an iron golem at different amounts of health. Wow, so the weaker we are, the better it gets. Okay, hold on, we're gonna turn out the natural regen. That's good stuff. Iron Golem. How many hits is going to? Hey, puppy, what you got? Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, fifty. Fifty hits. That's a lot of hits. All right, now we're gonna lower our health down. We're, we're gonna start with halfway, huh? Halfway. All right, now let's see how many hits it's going to take. Wow, we're bleeding. It's real bloody. I don't know about this. One, two, three, ten. That one only took ten hits. Now we're going to be a half-heart warrior. See what happens in a hot second here. And half a heart. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six hits. What is that? I, I want like a regular mob. So if you're danger enough to party with a half heart, you could do some serious damage to any nearby mobs. Like these are all like one hitting them. Like look, oh wow. Well, not that guy, but I'm pretty sure it's a two hit. Yeah, wow. So if you can deal with the particles constantly, you'll be good to go. Oh. Next up, we've got the ice sword. Oh boy. And we gotta make all the stupid things again, jeez. Taking forever. P 
piece of my mind, I'm telling you. All the dark orbs, we got one diamond sword, and it looks like one ice block is what is required to make this puppy run. So we're gonna drop the sword right on top, start placing all the different energy orbs all around it, and we're gonna drop one lone ice cube right on top, and witness as it turns into an amazing new creation. Wizza! Ice sword! Beautiful! Kind of look, just looks like a regular old enchanted sword. I've grabbed you. The ice sword can be crafted just like the blood sword. Just use an ice block instead. Holy will slow down mobs around you, and right clicking it launches a projectile that traps mobs in an ice cube for a few seconds. Give this a shot, huh? So holding it will slow mobs around me. Right, well, I mean, they, all need, they ain't messing around. It looks like they're a little bit slower. But why don't we right click instead? Oh, yeah, get it. Oh, yeah. Get stuck. I hate you. I Stupid. I hate you. Oh, wow. We've accidentally watered the place. Oh, this is bad news. Well, I'll kill the cow meanwhile. Looks like he's escaped. I guess it doesn't last too long, huh? Okay, so you're nice and slow now. That's beautiful. Let's trap you again. Nice. Hey, that's good. Wait, where'd the spider go? Trying to escape? Who you trying to play, man? Eh. <laughs> oh, yo, he's feisty. Yeah, get away, freak. Now I use the blood sword because I'm, I'm hurt. Nice. Good trade. What do we got here? Can you trap this sheep midair? What kind of joke is that? Of course I can. Oh, oh, I mean, I guess I didn't, but uh, let's, uh, boom. Oh, come on. I was supposed to work. Yeah! I hate the sheep! Stupid sky sheep. Can't do anything right, just... Yeah, and you too! Boom! Ooh, this one looks promising. The Ender Sword. Oh man, with all this junk again. Same process before, but you're just dropping an Ender Pearl on top and grab yourself an Ender Sword. Get a load of this puppy. <laughs> Get a load of this poppy! Wow, that was complete coincidence. Yo, best day of my life. Ender Sword, amazing. If you're ever surrounded by mobs and you need a quick pinch, quick escape, this is the way to do it. Anytime you hit a mob with an Ender Sword, it will teleport to a random location nearby you. Look, boom, 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 yes! Yeah, just let him disappear. Oh, he disappeared behind me! Hey, that is not useful all the time. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Look at him. Slowly just get right. Yeah, sometimes they. Oh, boy! Oh, we gotta get the blood sword quick because I'm really strong now. With any luck, we'll be able to. Yeah, yeah, coming in with him. Ooh, and we should right click to freeze them all. Dude, just the ultimate, just. Oh my gosh, the slaughter. It's real right now. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gone. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty useful. Like, there's still, you know, there might be a, ch a time when, you know, you maybe you want to make sure that it don't appear behind you. But for the most part, you know, I, I can dig it. I deal with it, man. It ain't a bad thing to do. I'm going to kill the rest of these guys real quick. Or maybe not. Thunder sword. I like how this one. Oh, right, we already did all that. All we need is a feather. Drop it on on and behold as we begin to see the new sword form. Boom! Oh, wow, I was expecting this one to be like different colored than the. Well, Thunder Sword. Hey, that looks sweet. It's got a so slight different texture, like Blurite. Anybody? The reference. Anybody? So, right clicking with the Thunder Sword makes you jump in the air. While airborne, you can choose the location you want to land it. Either wait for the cooldown to end or right click again to immediately launch downwards, where you summon tons of lightning bolts around you. Oh, this is the best one yet. Now, hold on a second. Boom! Oh! Well, I think I'm, I'm stuck a little bit. What am I? What am I, the Thunder King or something? Oh, wow! Oh, wow! We get to choose! We get to choose where the Thunderbolts go! It's like I turn into Zeus or something, hanging out in the clouds. Kill all the targets on the marked areas. Oh, don't mind if I... Hey! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, look at a little zombie child away from me! We gotta wait for the cooldown. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Boom. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't even play. Don't even play. I'm, I'm on fire. Okay, where's this next cooldown? I just gotta... Now, can we... I'm gonna get it from super far away. Yikes. Okay, so it looks like you need to be above wherever it is you're trying to strike. It don't work as well necessarily pointing where you want to go. So check it out. 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 Boom! Coming in! Yeah! Took out almost all of them in just a couple smacks. And we got the blood sword for backup. We got this guy to slow everybody down. We got this guy to teleport him away. Oh, it's a good day, friends. So, my friends, while the blood sword sword, the ice sword, the ender sword, and the thunder sword are all nice, 
Especially the Blood Sword Sword. There's one more that we need to show off. The Herobrine Sword. Oh, scary. Now this one takes a whole bunch of extra, like a whole beacon. Come on, get real with it. And finally the Herobrine Sword. The mightiest of all swords and this and that. We'll display what does it say. Once you've placed your sword down and added all four energy orbs to all the different corners of this creation, drop a beacon right on top and witness the final transformation. Boom! Look at that puppy! Yo, it's flipping out right now. It's totally wigging out. Must be really strong. The Herobrine Sword. Yo, this thing is nasty looking. Holy moly! Everything is instantly being ruined. What is going on to the showcase area? Oh, wow, it's, that is something else. Look at it. It's temporary. Temporary netherrack. And it replaces the blocks that were just there a second ago, too. So you don't actually lose any of the land around. Hey, this is really cool. Oh, I like this a whole lot. But we got a whole book that will explain the rest of it to us. Ein, on fire. <laughs> Hold it creates an R around that makes all mobs levitate. You will leave a fire trail of netherrack wherever you go. The cool thing is that it doesn't destroy the terrain. It resets the blocks. Right-clicking the sword launches an explosive projectile forward. You know, like one of these. Boom! Wow, it was very explosive! I wasn't even close to that thing! How many of these can I launch? How big's the cooldown? Let me... Can I... I'm a cool... Cooldown... Boom! Wow! Okay, very strong! Seriously, like, how far away do I need to... Yikes! Okay, so this is definitely a sword that you want to use for creatures that are very, very far away. I'm trying to think of, like, a way to do this properly so that I'm not getting hit by it. Wow! Well, when we decide to release this, we'll make sure to nerf the explosion a little bit so it doesn't kill me, too. Holy moly. But we've got one more thing to show you. It's us taking out all these mobs nearby. When you get close, they levitate. And they will take fall damage. Oh, you can bet your sweet patootie they will. And they'll also take explosion damage. Ooh! Yo! The carnage! Kind of want to, like... Uh, summon more mobs. Oh no, we lost the button. I guess we can activate it by doing this, right? Is that, did that, did that activate it? Oh man, where's the pickaxe? Quick, stay away! Oh, we gotta act very quickly right now. Come on, ah, oh, what is this guy up to? Seriously, you got nothing better to do? You having fun? You having a good time, buddy? Would ya? You've been slowed. Stupid. So, my friends, that's gonna do it for OP Swords, the Ice Sword, the Blood Sword Sword, the Ender Sword, the Thunder Sword, and the Hero Brine Sword. Don't mess around. All by Max Time. If you want to check out the downloads, can be found eventually in the description of this video where you can add this to your Minecraft 1.12 worlds. It is fantastic. If you want to see more, only one commands on the channel. You can let me know by buying yourself an old command t shirt or leaving a like on the video. Either or is a great indication. They all want to see more command block installation. Check out Mac's channel in the description as well. And of course, subscribe to me so you can see these babies right as they come out. My friends, that's going to be where we leave things off today. I hope you enjoyed this awesome OP sword showcase. Boom! We eat beef tonight, baby. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.